there is someone um vacuuming outside so sorry if you hear the vacuum hi everybody um i can't believe i'm going to say this but i'm going to start vlogmas late and because it's already december 3rd but let me explain why i'm starting it at all and that's because i literally just sit in my apartment all day long and i don't do anything and you know what i'm getting a little sick of it and i feel like if i'm vlogging every day it will make me go do things and get out of my apartment and like kind of seize the moment let's like make vlogmas goals okay and you know what i already know exactly what i'm going to do today i already feel better i really do so even if this is just for me and like i get five people to watch it that's fine all right let's make a goal checklist because that's what i do best and this will be like really good for me to get into like a good night routine um it's like so easy now that it's getting dark out at like literally 4 p.m. It's so easy now that it gets dark really early for me to just sit on the couch from like 4.30 until I go to bed to do nothing. And I wanna like take charge of my day. Like I'm not putting on makeup, I'm not doing my hair, I'm not like getting dressed for the day. Like I haven't even put my laundry away from like two weeks ago. Like, I don't know, I just hope videotaping will actually like get me out of the house and go do stuff. And then at night, it'll give me like a routine to do at night. Like I can edit videos and upload them um, and just like be creative every day and just do something that like makes me feel good and like it's serving like kind of like a bigger purpose than me. I don't know. These are things that I want to do throughout Vlogmas. So first thing is one adventure a day. Adventure can mean anything, but I want to get out of my house. Okay, next I want to go to four light shows. If I think of more things, I'll write them down. But I feel good about this list and of what I want to do. And I'm excited. Um, there's things I want to do today. <laughs> so my adventure today, two adventures today. So yesterday, one of my favorite like food bloggers posted this like really good looking recipe. Um, that was like, I forget what she called it, like, you know, like puppy chow? Is that even what it's called? It's like candy or something. Um, it was like that, but like holiday edition. So I'm going to go to Wegmans today and get all those ingredients and make that. And then I want to go to four light shows and it's already the first weekend of December. And I was sick last weekend, which was so sad. Um, I had the flu and I was down pretty bad, I will say. So I'm just like starting to feel a lot better like i feel pretty much back to normal today um like 100 percent, i'd say maybe like 96 percent. but anyway um so i want to go to four light shows i love light shows so i want to go tonight to a light show yeah i feel better already and even just like talking has been helping me okay so let me show you my decoration it's not the best decorated tree ever especially because I don't have much of this. So maybe my adventure for Sunday can be like tree help. Like I'll get some more stuff to make this tree look a little bit better because it looks a little sad. Um, yeah, I got this tree years ago and it's just fit perfectly in the apartment. So that's my tree. And then to the right, I just brought these over from my old condo. Just these two and then like this. Ooh, this little sparkly reindeer and then my little stocking that my friend Danielle got me and then I have like Santa over there um, and then I have all of my wrapping paper because I'm actually absolutely killing it this year with the gifts um, it's December 3rd and not only are all of my gifts completely ordered and already shopped for but all the ones that are coming in the mail um you can see that i've already wrapped them so yeah and this is just where i'm going to keep them i was like where am i going to keep all my gifts until christmas hello under the christmas tree i've never been ahead ever for christmas and i am and i don't know like my podcast is 
it's just showing a lot of abundance lately so i'm just really really blessed this holiday season i get to splurge a little bit more on my friends and family so i'm definitely spoiling them this year but um it's it's been a lot of fun so i'm really enjoying it and i'm super grateful and i'm like super ahead on my shopping i'm like already done it and yeah i'm just like waiting for my presents to arrive so i can wrap them to put them under my tree i literally almost just did exactly what i said i wasn't gonna do i literally almost instacarted the groceries rather than going to get them i got tickets to a light show tonight at 7 p.m um so expensive it was literally like for two tickets at 7 p.m it was 30 dollars a ticket so 60 dollars right there and then they were like, oh, we added $11 worth of fees. What are the fees? What's the ticket for? Let's talk about books. Right now I'm reading Let Your Mind Run, which is by Dina Castor and Michelle Hamilton. It's about Dina, and she's a runner, um, an Olympic runner. She placed bronze in 2004 at, during like the Olympic marathon. Really, really cool book. Um, highly recommend every single person to read this. Runner or not, it doesn't matter if you're a runner. It's a very powerful book. Um, it's about the mind and positive thinking, gratitude, affirmations, and just really how powerful the mind is. In this book, she drops a lot of really awesome other books that are about like positive thinking and the power of the mind and everything like that and one of the books that she mentioned was the artist's way by julia cameron um so i picked it up and it's like a giant book it's called the artist's way a spiritual path to higher creativity and it sounds amazing because this is the book that invite invented morning pages dina talked about it in this book and i was like well i should probably read this so i went to barnes and noble yesterday and i got this and i'm very excited to read this book and also in let your mind run they talk a lot about dina's coach coach um joe vigil i hope i said his last name right and he i'm like so enthralled and fascinated by him in this book he is just like the epitome of positivity and just like speaking to yourself kindly and positively and just always having a good attitude. He's just like so cute. I just want to give him like the biggest hug. And then I Googled what he looked like and I was like, oh my God, I want to hug him even more. He's so cute. So he's just like this adorable looking little man. So when I Googled him to see what he looked like, um, I saw that he had a book and it's called Chasing Excellence. And I ordered that two days ago and it's coming in today so i'm gonna add that to my stack of books to read i'm very excited to read that as well and then i got another book for fun um i saw brooke post this when she was on vacation called my dark vanessa by kate elizabeth russell looks pretty good um and i also in my room have ugly love by colleen hoover that i'm gonna start reading yeah that's like my little book extravaganza and then i also got some clothes i got some things actually from these three boutique i don't know if they're like you know peyton gannis and like riley and macy and all them they're like the southern emma and maggie mcdonald they're so cute so they have a boutique and it was black friday i bought stuff because there was 30 percent off sale and i was like you know what make me a southern girl again like i'll go back to alabama sure so i got a couple things and now that i got them i don't know if i still like them but we'll see tonight when i go to uh tinseltown if i like them so first thing i got was this little jacket very soft okay then i got this dress and i did not think it was this color it's like this pink sweater dress which i think is really cute didn't know it was this color i thought it was white but it's fine fine i don't love the color but it's whatever and the whole back is like totally open didn't know about that either but what are you gonna do whatever this was something else that i was like oh this looked really cute on the website but now that i have it i don't know but 
I kind of want to try to wear it tonight. I think I would like it. It's just like a jacket, pretty much. Like a shirt jacket. This looks like something my friend Katie Running would wear. So if I don't like it, Katie, I might gift it to you. Oh my god, you guys, I got Katie the funniest Christmas gift. And then the last thing I got is this like, like snow leopard jacket. You know? Look, I think it's cute, but like, who do I think I am? Oh, hang on. My top genres for Spotify wrapped. Number three, Canadian hip hop. Is that Drake? Number five, contemporary country. Reindeer chow. So you need rice checks, Cheerios, pretzels, M&Ms, peanuts, white chocolate, and coconut oil. All right, let's, let's go to Target and get this stuff. Way less intimidating, I don't know why, but it's way less intimidating than going to Wegmans. What do we think, girls? <laughs> Shack it? I'm wearing it. Cause you know, like, why not? This is so funny to me. Wegmans? Nope. I'm gonna target. This is so funny. I don't know why the fact that they're next to each other is the funniest thing ever. So I'm in the Target parking lot and you can't really tell, but right there is like right along here is a running trail. And one time I was out for my 10 mile run and um, I got really thirsty on the way back. It was around like mile, this was like mile seven. And I was so thirsty that I ran into this Target, went to the Starbucks, and bought like a liter of water. And it was so embarrassing because I'm literally in like, I was in like a sports bra and biker shorts and it was, I was like sweating. And I ran in, bought water, chugged it, and then kept going. It's time for Tinsel Town. And I never showed how the reindeer chow came out. Doesn't that look so good? It is good. Okay, this is what I'm wearing to Tinsel Town. So I think it's cold out, so I put on my parka. It's in the 30s again, so it's cold. So parka, my hair is in braid, didn't change that. And then I'm still rocking the these three little shacket moment. Super cute and sea isle, stride sea isle hoodie with a line leggings. These are Aritzia white socks and the Ugg minis, which I see on a lot of people's gift guides this year. Happy to be a, what's the word I'm looking for? Pioneer. In this trend I guess even though I don't think you can call Uggs trendy but I guess to me they are Back from Tinseltown. Totally rocked. What other light shows did we want to go to? The one that we went to last year? The big drive through light show, Hershey light show, and then maybe like Peddler's Village or Philly. All right, so that's gonna end 
my vlogmas day one i'm pretty proud of myself that i got out of the house i never set up my island so let me set up my island and did not one but two activities today reindeer chow and tinseltown what a festive day it ended up being oh i found this one account today on instagram that i really liked that i want to share so the account is called mind body sculpt and it's run by this girl Alyssa curie and she posts these really cool like daily vlogs almost and i kind of want to make one every day to go along with vlogmas and post it so i kind of want to do that like alongside with vlogmas too to give me an activity for vlogmas and then something creative on instagram which will also get me posting more on instagram and i don't know her page is like super motivating and inspiring and that's kind of how i want people to leave anything that i post like whether it's podcast or youtube channel or even like my instagram posts or like even my story that's why i don't post a lot just because i want everything i post to always have like meaning and purpose and like have people just feel like motivated and inspired when they leave my my content in whatever form signing off for the night um thanks for tuning in to my day one of vlogmas oh i should add another goal to my vlogmas list um which is that i want to vlog in public because i always get so weirded out when i do it but at the end of the day who really cares like it's my life i'm never gonna see any of those people in public ever again anywhere so why do i care so much you know what i mean okay anyway anyway i'm out see you guys tomorrow peace out bye